everyone, so today I'm going to be talking about what I think is the perfect makeup starter kit. So if you're young or you're just getting started in makeup anyway, I have devised a kit of what I think will be the perfect things for you to start out with. So they're not going to be expensive, they're going to be easy to find and I love them. So hopefully you will too and each of these things I highly recommend. Um, which is why I think they're perfect to start out with because obviously you don't want to waste your money on something that's not going to be good. So I've got quite a few products because obviously I need to get through a whole face of products so I'm just going to go straight in. So starting with foundation, I've got the Rimmel Match Perfection Foundation and I know I use Estee Lauder Double Wear all the time but that is £28.50 so obviously I don't want to include that in this video and I just use that because I like such a high coverage but this is my second favourite and I will wear this on days um, where I'm not doing much but honestly it's still a lovely foundation and I do recommend it and hopefully if you're young hopefully your skin is pretty good so you won't need as high coverage but this is still pretty good coverage it's nice and glowy you do need a powder with it but it smells good it's nice and glowy it gives a good decent coverage it doesn't look cakey or anything and you still look like natural in it I love it as much as I wear my double wear every day because I'm obsessed with it. This is my next favourite and it is amazing so I highly recommend it and it's from Rimmel and I think it's about £7 or something like that so obviously not expensive. Next is concealer and this is something which is raved about all the time especially on like blogs and YouTube channels and it's the Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer. It is £4.19 I think and it is absolutely amazing. I use it all the time above anything else. I don't even have like high end concealer because this does it for me. Um, and as you know, to be fair, I don't really use high end makeup um, apart from my foundation. So I use this on blemishes under my eyes to brighten, sometimes on my forehead, on like the bridge of my nose and on my chin to brighten. Um, obviously just use a lighter shade. I absolutely love it. It's really like multitasking. It's a good coverage without being thick and cakey. It doesn't crease on me. It stays put all day. And I love it. And also I find that sometimes with concealers, if you top it out throughout the day, it just doesn't blend properly at all. And the more you try and blend it, it kind of comes off. Like, does that happen with you? Because that happens with me with other concealers. But with this, it just blends in. It doesn't rub off what's already there and make it look even worse. I absolutely love it. And I have gone through... Honestly, probably at least like 30 of these. <laughs> they are amazing. Next is powder, and again, this is something which is raved about all the time, and it's the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. I love this because it is matte, but despite the name, I don't think it's too matte. I've got it on now, and I feel like I still look quite glowy, and I don't have highlighter on today. Um, so it keeps your foundation matte and keeps it there. You don't look like shiny and greasy, but I still don't think it's too matte and I don't use it on my whole face, just kind of on my T-zone um, so that I don't look too matte and it doesn't make you look like dead like some matte things can. And this is about £4, I have the shade Transparent um, but you can get ones with colour on as well if that is what you like. Um, oops, I've just unclicked it open. Um, but yeah, I highly recommend this, it lasts all day on me but I don't have particularly oily skin but if you do... Um, I have heard good reviews, some people that do have oily skin and you can just top it up throughout the day, just carry it around with you. Um, you can even have two, like one for at home and one to take out because it's not expensive. I absolutely love it and again, I don't know how many of these I've been through. You're going to want a bronzer and the one I have been obsessed with for a good while now is the Bourjois Bronzer. It is called Delice de Pouda, I think. Bronzing powder filled with glints of sunshine. <laughs> sunshine and the shade is 52 it looks like this I think this is the one that's supposed to look like chocolate or something um and I love it it is a nice color it's not too orangey it has got tiny shimmer in it but I don't notice it I can use it for contouring um, and I like a glowy face anyway and honestly I love it so much I was using the Benefit Hula bronzer and then I bought this and I use it all the time now obviously it's a lot cheaper and it's pretty damn similar Hula is completely matte but as I said, this is really fine shimmer. I still use it to contour and I think it's fine. I think it's about £8. Um, again, you can get it in boots and stuff, so it's not expensive. Um, and I just love it. I feel like it's really multitasking because you can use it to contour. You can use it just to bronze up your face. You can build up the colour. I just love it. And it's not expensive and it's not orange, which I absolutely hate bronzers that are orange. I don't get it. So I highly recommend this. I feel like bronzer is something you can go wrong with. Um, if you get the wrong shade and the wrong colour and 
a shimmery one, but this is perfect. I highly, highly recommend it. Then I've got a blusher and I've got this one, it's from Makeup Revolution and these blushes are a pound. This one is in the shade Now and I have spoke about this in a few videos, it has been in my favourites, I love it a lot. And MUA do um, one pound blushes as well which are amazing, they're very very similar, like extremely similar so you can go with either one I think. Um, and they've got loads of shades, they build up nicely um, to however dark or light you want them. They stay on all day on me anyway, you can top it up obviously if you need to anyway and they are £1 which is crazy. The quality for £1 is amazing so you could get a couple of these if you want to not wear the same thing all the time because they are only £1. And they're not like too tiny as well, they are 3.4 grams, don't really know how much that is but as you can see the size is pretty decent um, and I've used this loads and it does not even have a dent in it so... I highly recommend these a lot if you're just starting out in makeup because you're not going to spend a lot of money but they are great quality for the price. Now this is something you don't need if you're starting out in makeup but just in case you want it, this is the highlighter I love. It's from MUA, it's called Undress Your Skin and I use this all the time. I do normally wear it when I'm filming but I don't know, I just didn't today, I'm not sure why. Uh, but I didn't put it on today, but I absolutely love it. It's not too shimmery and glittery, it's just a nice glow, which I say all the time. I hate um, highlighters that are like glittery, like what is that? I'm not a disco ball. You just want to look nice and fresh and glowy, and that is what this does. It's a nice natural colour, it's kind of a champagne colour. I can never open this, so soz. Um, it's like a nice champagne colour. It looks quite pink on the camera, um, but it is just kind of slightly hinted pink, tinted pink, whatever, um, and it's 7.5 grams, so it's pretty big. Again, this barely has a dent in it, and I use it all the time. I think it's £3, which is amazing, and it is honestly one of my favourite highlighters ever, and I highly recommend this if you do want to try a highlighter. Um, and a tip if you do, go lightly, because as I said, you don't want to look like a disco ball. Now again, this is something you don't necessarily need, but if you want to, Eyebrows. These are the products I use, which is the Maybelline uh, Master Shape Brow Pencil, which obviously has a pencil and a little spoolie brush, and then this is called the Brow Drama, and both of these are in dark blonde, if you're wondering, and this is just like a mascara for your brows. It is coloured, um, obviously you can get different shades, and it will keep them in place, and a little bit of colour, and if you have got, if you're young and you haven't touched your brows too much, they should be in pretty good shape, so you can just use this. Um, to set them in place, add a little bit of colour. Please, 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 when you're young, we all do it, but please, if you haven't touched your brows yet, go and get them done professionally, and then you can kind of just keep up with the shape that they make, and you can just pluck the ones around it, because you don't want to ruin your eyebrows, because it will last for a long, long time, and me and other people my age are always moaning that we've ruined our eyebrows so mine are just getting back now so please do not over pluck them um, but if you do want to use something to fill them in more I suggest this pencil it's from Maybelline um, as I said it is called Master Shape and I love the colour again I find that brow products can sometimes be orange but this one is not and I like to um, put a bit of powder on my brows before I put this on because if you don't, sometimes it can kind of slip and slide a bit and you don't get, um, the line is not as defined as I'd like it to be. So I put powder on, just normal like face powder, the stay matte one, and then put this on top. And then I set it in place with this. And I do use some other products sometimes as well, but I don't feel like you need those for a starter makeup kit. So I would recommend these ones. They are not expensive. I love Maybelline brow products. They are very, very good. Moving on to eyes, and I'm going to talk about eyeshadows, which again is something you don't need when you're starting out in makeup. And I didn't use eyeshadows for ages, so you might not be interested. But if you are, and maybe if you've been using makeup for a while, but you want to get into eyeshadows, I honestly recommend this so much. And it's the MUA Eyeshadow Palettes. This is £4, and it has got 12 eyeshadows in it. The shades are amazing. They're very pigmented, they blend easily, and they're so easy to use, I can't even explain. They have so many different, like, shades of palettes to suit you, um, and I recommend as well going to a counter and getting them to tell you what skin tone you have, because whether you're, like, cool or warm-toned or pinky, yellowy, 
is going to tell you what kind of eyeshadows will suit you and they will help you um, to know that. So I suit kind of taupe shades, um, some people suit like warmer, browny, goldy kind of shades. So just go and get some advice um, because I found it hard to work out what skin tone I was. Um, based on that you can get some eyeshadows from anyway, as I said £4 for 12 eyeshadows which is crazy and I have hit pan on my two favourite ones but I've obviously had this for like two years I think or at least one um, but I'm pretty sure I've had it for like two years, it lasts forever um, and yeah they're just highly pigmented, they last all day, they blend really easily which I also find could be something hard when you're just starting out in eyeshadow to blend them properly. Um, but yeah, these are definitely going to make it as easy for you as possible. Then I've got this eyeliner, it's from Essence and it's just a normal black eyeliner. The shade is just called black and it is called the Kajal Pencil, I never know how to pronounce that. But that's what it is and it is just a pencil black eyeliner. It's a pound, it's pretty good. I don't use pencil eyeliner that much. I went through a stage of using it all the time but I haven't used it in a while. Um, but this is the one I was using it and I love it, it's dark enough. It stays on, it doesn't smudge everywhere, and I really like it. So for a pound, that's pretty damn good. If you're interested in trying out liquid liner, this is like queen of liquid eyeliner. It is the L'Oreal Super Liner Ultra Precision, and before this, I was awful at liquid eyeliner. I've got it on now, if you'd like to see. Um, I'm still not perfect, but this has made it so much easier for me. It's not one of those brushes which is too flimsy and just kind of goes everywhere and it's also not too, um, what's the word, it's not too stiff because sometimes they don't bend enough and it just kind of flicks off everywhere. I absolutely love this. It's also not too wet so it kind of goes everywhere. It's just the perfect liquid eyeliner and it makes it so easy to do your liquid eyeliner and you can just start off adding a little bit by your lash line just to make your eyes look darker. You don't have to go straight into doing the flicks. Um, I can't remember how much it is, but it's from L'Oreal, so it's probably around six, seven, eight pounds. Um, so if you do want to try a liquid eyeliner, highly recommend this because I could not do my liquid eyeliner very well at all until I came across this. As for mascara, I'm sure you all know already what I'm going to say because <laughs> this is one of my holy grail products and it's the Maybelline Rocket Volume Mascara. I love this so much. It is honestly one of my favourite makeup products ever. I think my two favourite products are the Estee Lauder Foundation and this, ever. That is pretty damn good. It's $7.99 I think. Um, so again, it's not too expensive. I have been through at least 20 of these, probably a lot more actually. Um, and I absolutely love it. As I've said before, I love big lashes. I have got fake eyelashes on now, by the way. Um, but I love big eyelashes. And this does the job without making them clumpy and stuck together, which I absolutely hate. And I've had ones before that do that as well, but just nowhere near as good as this. If you want to put a little bit on, it will just lengthen them, make them dark, and give them a bit of volume, which is probably what you want when you're just starting out in makeup. But if you do want really big eyelashes, this is amazing. You can just put more and more and more and more and more on and it does not go clumpy. It just makes them so long and voluminous and people ask me all the time what mascara I've got on um, on my videos and also like when I'm at work and stuff, like people think I've got fake eyelashes on and I'm like, nope, it's just my mascara and uh, honestly, I love it so much. I don't know what I used to do before I had this. It's just amazing and it isn't like... Um, a bristly brush is like a plastic one which I didn't used to like but now clearly I love it um, so I highly 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 recommend this baby and they have a waterproof one too if you need a waterproof one and last but not least is lip products and again you may not need this when you're starting out in makeup but if you do want to use lipsticks and stuff I recommend Rimmel lipsticks they are absolutely amazing they are very very close to my MAC lipsticks not quite as good, but very, very close. And this one I'm wearing now is one of my favourite lipsticks of all time. It's the Kate Moss for Rimmel 107 in this gorgeous berry, reddy, purpley kind of colour. I absolutely love it, um, as does Zoella, by the way. <laughs> um, and I think the Rimmel lipsticks, like they have different ranges, but they're like five, six, seven pounds. It depends what one you go for, but they are amazing. They have different finishes. Um, I like the matte ones personally, but they also have like creamier ones, um, 
and more like liquid lipsticks. They have all sorts and I love them. The quality is amazing, they're so pigmented. The matte ones I have are not drying at all. They stay put, they don't smudge everywhere. They are just perfect. So please, if you want a lipstick, go to the Rimmel counter because they have so many different shades and finishes. You will find one you like and out of all the many, many ones I have tried, they have all been amazing, so I highly recommend them. And if you're interested in a lip liner, this you really don't need. Um, for a starter makeup kit, I would only say you need this if you do want to wear a red lipstick, which to be honest, if you're young, you may not really want to wear a red lipstick, because I only really wear it when I'm going like on a night out, or very odd time maybe in the daytime, um, and obviously I wear it when I'm filming sometimes, so it is quite a bold lip. Um, but if you want to, the lip liners I love are the Essence ones. These are fairly recent discovery and I've had lip liners that I've really liked before but I've never found anything that is like perfect and these are perfect. They are one pound. I have every single shade I think, um, unless there was any that was out of stock because I absolutely love them. They're so pigmented, they go on so easily and they do stay put. Sometimes I've even had lip liners that don't stay put and I'm like, you're supposed to keep my lipstick in place. But these are amazing. I cannot get over how good these are for the price. And again, I've got one on today. Um, this one is called Honey Berry and it's a perfect match for this lipstick. Um, you can wear these on their own as well. This pink one is called Wish Me A Rose and I wear it all the time with my MAC lipstick in Please Me. I've worn it in my past couple of videos and got lots of questions on it. Um, and I absolutely love it. I have this red one as well. I've got more in my drawer. They are amazing. And I guess some of you that are watching this may not even need a makeup starter kit. You might just be interested to watch the video. So even if you've been into makeup for years, just mmm, mmm, -hmm. amazing. So that is all of the products in my perfect makeup starter kit and I hope you found this really helpful, like not just an enjoyable video but I really felt like this could be really helpful for you because I know starting out in makeup is like where, where do you start, it's hard, like you don't want to waste your money but you have no idea where to start so I really really hope this was helpful for you and I did kind of think about it a lot but also they genuinely are some of my favourite products because I do use high street drugstore products all the time. I barely have many high end makeup like uh, that doesn't bother me. It doesn't need to be high end to be good quality. Um, which I know a lot of you like about my channel is that I don't use a lot of high end because honestly you don't need it. Um, so I really really hope you found this helpful. Let me know if you try any of these products because hopefully you love them. Um, and yeah, just give me your feedback because I would love to know if you try these and love them too because then, uh, like, even if I help one of you, like, I know people normally say this when it's, like, a really, like, deep subject, but I feel like this is just really helpful as well because it is, like, a war zone going in that makeup shop and there's people everywhere, there's stuff everywhere and you're like, what do I do? do it's not really a war zone because no one's shooting you or anything but mm, it's just a hard time but yeah i really hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a big thumbs up and if you're new please subscribe and i'll see you in my next video bye